So we're, we're going to continue learning about Kandinsky. We, uh, Kandinsky painted color study study with concentric circles in 1913. So last week you created your own concentric circle study. Create your own color study this week. Before you begin, take a moment to think about the types of colors you can choose. You can use your favorite colors, primary and secondary colors. Here's two vocabulary words that we're going to learn about today. Abstract, the kind of art that does not show people or things as the eyes see them. So abstract means non-realistic. And emotion is feelings of joy, sorrow, fear, anger, or love. In this lesson, you'll create your own Kandinsky art color study. So the first step, before we even start the first step, we want to write our name and we want to write our class code. I'm going to put one A for right now. What you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper in half and the, your paper today is going to be horizontal, just like last week's. And I'm going to fold the paper once and fold the paper again to make it look like a booklet. So that's step one and step two done. Now I'm gonna open it up. And now here's the sample of the picture of the three hearts. So what you're gonna do with your pencil lightly, you're gonna draw three hearts. One. And move this over a little bit. Two. Three, see how my hearts are pretty big? My hearts are big enough in the middle of the paper. Okay, so we have our big hearts. Now step four is to draw a medium heart inside the big heart of each boxes. So here's our medium heart over here. So we're gonna go right in and see how my little M point, I'm gonna go down just a little bit and I'm gonna draw another heart inside. And you wanna take your time and you wanna draw these nice hearts. You wanna make sure that you have all the hearts connected inside. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw another heart. So that is step five. So you're gonna draw a small circle small hearts actually, for the middle of the heart. So step five means that you're gonna draw a small heart inside. And once we have our hearts, you're going to choose any colors you like. So for the hearts, I'm only gonna do, do one box on camera and then you're gonna do the rest. So for my hearts, I'm thinking about doing, hmm. So I really like this orange color. I'm gonna use orange, and I'm gonna color the first color orange. Now, uh, see here the example picture that the all of the hearts are different colors, and the background is also a different color. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, I'm using crayons, if you have color pencils or markers, you can use that as well. And you wanna keep on coloring to get that nice area. Okay, so my orange is done. I'm, I'm gonna take purple now and I'm gonna color. So I'm thinking about doing the, the secondary colors for this heart right here on the top. And I wanna keep on coloring. You see I'm going around the heart, the, the small heart as well, not trying to color in the lines. I'm also trying not to, to have any white spots. And I'm gonna continue coloring. So once we're done with the second heart, we're gonna move on to our 
third heart, and our third heart's gonna be green because I said the secondary colors. And we're gonna take our time and really try to color inside of the lines. And see, we're just making sure that the whole heart is colored. Now you, you wanna start thinking about your background color. So I'm thinking about my background color being a lighter color. So I'm thinking about my background color being, um, I think yellow, I'm gonna choose yellow. So I want it, want it to be a lighter color. So now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my yellow and I'm gonna color just so first I'm going to do the outlining of the square first and then I'm going to color the whole background. So here is the first box. It's complete. See the background color is different. Each color is different. So now you're going to do the second box, third box, and fourth box on your own. What you remember, do not color the same colors on this each boxes. Use the different colors. So I have finished coloring all of the hearts and the boxes, and see I use different colors in each box and each heart. So whatever colors you have at home, you can use for this project. Important note, parents, please take a picture of the work sent to mromeo at mbacad.org. Assignment due May, Friday, May 15th. If you don't have a printer, you could just follow steps onto the document and draw on a piece of paper.